What's up, Deep Sea Divers? This is KG4E, and welcome back to my Subnautical Let's Play. This is episode 26, and I am just going to be doing some, a little bit of grinding here, um, but the reason I'm going to be recording this is because I want to talk to you guys about this Let's Play series. Um, we are at a crossroads here in this series. Um, we're getting up to the point where we've done almost everything, and um, usually when a series is at this point, I would seriously consider stopping it. Um, I gotta tell you guys, uh, though, you guys have been supporting this series, like, ridiculously well. Um, this series is actually doing better at the moment than Empyreon, which I didn't think was possible. And, um, it's right below, you know, um, uh, it's right below the forest, as far as, like, popularity on the channel. You guys have been thumbing it up, you've been watching it, um, I think we've been having a good time here, so I have no plans to stop this Let's Play. Uh, this is, you know, I enjoy the game, um, I, we've got some more stuff to do. And you guys want to see more, so there's no reason not to do more. Um, also, there's nothing else out there on the horizon that's exciting me. But honestly, that wouldn't make a difference anyway. If you, I always say, if you guys support a series, then I am going to continue doing that series. So you might be thinking, well, Cage, you know, what, what else is there to do? You know, you got a couple upgrades you can do. That, you know, I mean, there's not too much more. Um, you know, what's up? What's up? What are we going to be doing? Well, what we're going to be doing is we're going to start making... Uh, forward operating bases. Now, I, I don't think they're really considered forward operating bases, um, but for all intents and purposes, I will call them forward operating bases. And what they're going to be is there's going to be, well, I've got one planned out in my mind um, that's going to be in the uh, in the Grand Reef. Um, and then there's other ones that I might do some uh, in other places, but um, I basically want to make more bases, you know. Um, this is going to be headquarters. I was considering um, scrapping this entire base and moving it to the Grand Reef. Um, the reason I'm not going to do that is because this base is in a prime position to get titanium, which is going to be our most used resource through the entirety of the game. So there's no point in, you know, going to the Grand Reef because I don't think there's any titanium there. I don't remember seeing any, um, you know, so if I see some down there, maybe that can change, but I, I honestly don't think there is. So, uh, yeah, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to the Grand Reef and starting a... Um, uh, forward operating base in the Grand Reef. Uh, one thing we're going to need to do for that, though, is we are going to have to upgrade this Seamoth to the pressure upgrade um, MK2 and MK3. In order to do that, we need the... Um, we need the... Actually, what do we need? Pressure... Con pressure... Yeah, I think we need that. Let me go double check this. I'm going to do this on camera because it's pretty interesting. Um, I actually had some problems with it. It got a little confusing for me. So I just wanted to show you this um, so you could see exactly what's going on. All right, here's the Cyclops, Cyclops upgrade uh, and the Seamoth upgrades. We need the Pressure co uh, Compensator MK2 and MK3. Now you can see right here it uses the Pressure Compensator for the MK2 and it uses the MK2 for the MK3. So that first part is irrelevant. We already have it. So what we need is steel ingots, aluminum oxide, which we already have, and computer chips, which we can make. Um, we're going to need five plus steel ingots for this. I think I only have two at the moment, so we are going to have to go do some grinding for that. Let's see what we're going to need for the computer chip. I'm pretty sure the computer chip's fairly easy. Oh, yeah. I got the silver R for that. That's not a problem. All right, so it's all about, uh, it's all about iron... Or not iron, I keep calling it iron. You know, all these games I play have, like, different metals. Some are called metal, some are called iron, some are called titanium. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make that. And a lot of you guys have been saying, well, I have the uh, the Cyclops power efficiency module. Um, we'll go ahead and make that as well for the Cyclops. But that's that's looking in the future. we got, we got to take this one, uh, one thing at a time. And, by the way, um, I'm not bugged. The, um, I'm not bugged that... Uh, what do you call it? Moonpool does not and never has repaired the Cyclops. I mean the uh, the 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 Seamoth. I think there should be a module. I think there should be upgrades for the for the Moonpool. I think the Moonpool should eventually repair the Seamoth personally. But and a lot of you guys told me about some of the power things. Oh, okay, really quick. Hold hold on to that power thought. I have to plant these. Oh, hold on. You son of a bitch. You think you're gonna attack me and get? Where'd you go? You better run away. Anyway, um, I have to plant these creep vine things um, in order to get the creep vine that will grow more seeds. Uh, if that makes any sense. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're going to go back and do that right now. You guys told me about that. I didn't know that. I thought if I just planted creep vine, I figured seeds. Like, if you plant a creep vine, it should grow its seeds. Isn't that way plants work? 
but um, I actually need to plant the seeds themselves. Um, grow, planting creep vine will grow more creep vine, but will not grow any seeds. Eh, it's fair enough. I am okay with that. Let's come on over here. Where did we put that? Oh, there it is. I see it. All right, so we're right here. So we got to take those out. It's fine. Not a big deal. I'm glad you guys told me that. I didn't just never put two and two together with that. All right, can we get in there? Can we take these out? We cannot. Nope. So we got to kind of cut these out. That's just probably falling all over the ground. That's okay. I am okay with that. Yeah. Um, honestly, is there anything else I need to find in this game? I think there's a... I know there's a power uh, generator that works off um, that works off heat. So you put them down next to, uh, you know, those lava things. And then what you can do is... Let's see, where, let's see where we are on it, actually. Can I see? No. Oh, look at the solar panels. They look different. I wonder if... I wonder if I... Oh, look, the solar panels are different. Oh, I should probably take those apart and replace them. We got a lot of stuff to do, guys. We got a lot of stuff to do. That's a good thing. Alright. Um, okay, so yeah, thermal plant. That's what we want, the thermal plant. Cyclops pressure compensator. I don't know why that's saying... Maybe I can't make those yet. I don't know. Maybe it's broken because it also says I can't make the Cyclops yet, and I did. So, yeah, we got to finish up the thermal plant. And then what you do is you put the thermal plant down next to those geysers where the lava is. And then, the way I understand it is... You use... Sorry, one sec. And then you use this thing right here, power transmitter, to transmit it to your base. So, yeah, we'll have to look into that for sure. Alright, so plant these. There we go. Creep vine. Okay. Oh, that's decomposing. Okay, so there's the difference. Alright, let's just drop these. Oh. Can I drop those? Oh, I planted it, didn't I? I just eat them. I don't really care. Okay. Alright, so let's uh, let's go ahead and get some titanium now. So yeah, I'm going to make an outpost. And what I want to do is I want to make an outpost in all the major biomes. So that way I can make use of the uh, the scanning room. Now, is the scanning room work working 100%? I don't know. I'm in, I'm in experimental. Um, I have a buddy who uh, watches my videos that uh, always makes a joke that whenever I say something's bugged, it's just because I don't know how it works. So I'm tending not to say things are bugged. But yeah, the scanning room was working for a while and then I went to use it again and it wasn't working. So I'm not sure. I mean, it's reasonable to say something's a bug when you're playing an alpha. So uh, especially when you're playing an experimental branch. So it might be bugged. I'm not really sure. We will uh, we will have to see. We got to break these open too because we do need we do need more copper. Got an egg there. Silver. Oh, silver here. It's kind of weird. I got silver here. I'm not that far down. Let silver be uh, much much deeper. So I'm sitting out there like a numbskull, thinking, well, I can only take as much metal as I can carry. And I realized I got a freaking submarine, man. So I went ahead and grabbed the juggernog. And uh, I brought it out there, and we are now... I think we probably have enough. Um, I know we need three titanium ingots, so that's one, two, and three. Beautiful, we got enough. Okay, so what do we need to bring back with us? Uh, more titanium would be nice. We're definitely going to need copper. Uh, we're definitely going to need... Well, we probably need silver. And that looks pretty good. We might need lithium. Uh, we might need ox we might need this uh, aluminum oxide. Uh, the thing about the aluminum oxide though is I think I already have it back at the base, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So what do I leave here? Uh, let's leave a couple silver and take a couple aluminum stuff and uh, that should be pretty good. Yeah, there's actually quite a bit of metal down there, like a lot of metal. I actually left quite a bit. Um, <laughs> so plenty of metal. I, I don't think it makes any sense to make a base um, anywhere but here. Um, yeah, there's going to be other. There's going to be things that when you're down in the reef, you know, you're going to have access to that you need, and um, I get that. But at the same time, my God, uh, the, the the titanium is what you need the most, by far. So yeah, could have built in a deeper spot, I guess, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need beacons too. Well, at least I'm gonna need one beacon for the uh, 
for the forward operating base in the reef. So we should have plenty to make that though. All right, let's go. I also want to make some more power cells. Oh, you know what? I probably should have taken the... Yeah, I guess there's no point in taking it. No, there is a point in taking it. I needed to upgrade. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I don't need to take the Seamoth. Why would I need to take the Seamoth? Well, you do need to take the Seamoth, jackass. Because that's the thing you're trying to upgrade. You need it in the moon pool to upgrade it. Duh. Captain. Okay. I could have swear the Cyclops repaired this thing at one point. What happened to the leg on this moon pool, damn it? This moon pool's all messed up. Alright, so now we go ahead and make some plasteel ingots. And we should be pretty close to where we want to be. I don't know why I came down here. Um, plasteel. Plasteel. I'm probably going to need one more lithium, I think. Oh, maybe not. Five plus steel. Sweet. Now we just need the computer chips. So what do we need for computer chips again? Uh, we need the coral sample stuff. I, I don't think I have a lot of that. There's none in here. There is a couple in here. All right, let's let's um let's dump these off for now. And I'm probably gonna have to go get some more coral sample. That's not that's not hard to get. I'll sh and just in case you haven't been watching the whole let's play. I will show you where it is. Oh, I've got a couple. Well, let's make what we can. Screw it. I forget the other thing we're going to need. Cool sample here. Probably some copper. I don't know. There's the other two plus steel. Copper. Might need a couple more of those. More. Oh, God, we got a lot of copper. We're going to need some silver. Alright, that should be enough for the MK2 at least. Alright, we're gonna need electronics. We don't need wiring kit, we need the computer chip, we're gonna need quartz. Do I have any room for the quartz? I do not. So let's put um let's put a couple more of these silver away and grab some quartz. We're gonna need many, many computer chips. Oh, two coral samples? I thought was it? Oh, those are common coral samples. Okay, they even look different. Mild dehydration detected. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and get something to drink so we don't die. Oops. And let's put this stuff in here. And we'll get some more uh, coral. Actually, I might I might still have enough for the MK2. I kind of want to make the want to make the MK2 if I can. What else do we need for the MK2? Oh, that's right, you don't make it in here. That means we gotta take this out of here. Remember, we need the pressure compensator. God damn it. I'm still not I'm still not used to be able, not being able to sprint in this game. It's, it's kind of weird. There we go. Pressure compensator MK2. I won't even make I won't even put it in the in the thing. I'm just gonna get the MK3. Yep, we just need the computer chip. So let's go get some coral sample in case you guys don't know where to get it. I will I will let you know. I believe it's this stuff, right? Coral sample, that's table. Yeah, table's what we want, right? I wonder how it decides Oh, that's right. These are these are table samples. But if you want the other ones, the common samples or whatever they are, I forget what they're called, you gotta hit those big tube looking things. I don't know where there's that one right there, I don't know if you can see, or that thing. You gotta hit those. So. Okay. Computer chip. I wonder how far this thing's gonna be able to go. Right? How far is this uh, Seamoth gonna be able to dive down? Alright, that's as far as we could dive down, guys. Let's see what it gives us. What do you think, 500 maybe? 900? 900 would be, I, would be perfect. I'd be fine with 900. God damn it, don't get in it! 
Arg. Uh. Let's try that again. Nine hundred. Okay. Well, nine hundred is pretty freaking cool. So, what else do we want to put in that? Can we put another one in there to, uh... Can, can we put another one in there? Do they stack? That's a good question. Let me know in the comments. Do they stack? I don't really think I need more than 900, though. Um, someone told me this perimeter defensive thing. Journey to localize and let you feel the wall, wall guard. Yeah, someone told me that's a pretty good one. And we're going to need some more. Oh, we've got ooh, gas torpedoes? Hold on. Torpedo by section of your seat. Well, so what is that? I need a gas pod? Gas pod. I don't know where you get a gas pod from. Makes me think of those guys that fart acid, but I, I don't think that's what they're talking about. Okay, so the gastro, the gas pod thing, um, we have to get from one of those gastropod guys. Yeah, it is the guys that fart acid. And you basically have to pick up that acid before it explodes and kills you in one shot. So, yeah, I'm going to try that later. Uh, I'm going to stick with regular torpedoes for now. And then we'll try those gas torpedoes <coughs> a little bit later. Because I'm basically going to clear up my inventory. Because when you die, you lose your inventory or something. I don't know. I'm not sure how like how it works. Um, I think if I come in my base and then I leave, my inventory is secured. But I'm not 100% sure on how that works. Um, plus, regular torpedoes, the, the Vortex torpedoes are pretty cool. So, I think we'll just stick with those. And so we're going to get the uh, Seamoth uh, Perimeter Defense and the uh, Efficiency Module. We'll get the Efficiency Module right now. And then we're going to get the Defense one. What do we need for the Defense? Advanced Wiring Kit. All right, so let's put this one in, and then let's go get the one with the Advanced Wiring Kit. Put that in there. I also um, have a Cyclops Power Efficiency Module that I keep forgetting to put in the Cyclops, so we'll have to do that at some point, too. Uh... Recycles heat byproduct to minimize power and efficiencies. It didn't say it went up, but I know it did. It's fine. All right, so let's. Uh, by the way, you notice this base has no more problems with power. So, yeah, that nuclear that nuclear reactor was really freaking cool. All right, advanced wiring kit. Let's get this done. I don't think we're gonna have time to get to the Grand Reef and start building. We will probably do that next video. Uh, we'll find we'll find a spot in the Grand. We gotta find the Grand Reef. I don't even know if I've ever been there. Um, on my map, it shows the Grand Reef is right under the floating island. So what we'll do is we'll go to the floating island and we'll just go down. All right, upgrade modules. There we go. I might make more of these and just try them out, but for now that'll do. Okay. All right. The sea moss should be uh, nice and upgraded. Let me run over here and put some stuff away, and uh, we will start heading out to the Grand Reef. We've got some time, I guess. I, I don't. I can't think of any other upgrades that I need to do. Oh, you know what? That's right. I need these freaking batteries turned into. Um, I need to turn those batteries into power cells, in which case we're going to need silicon rubber. And we've got silicon rubber, we're going to need creep vine seed clusters. Oh, I hate these. These creep vine seed clusters are the biggest pain in my freaking ass ever. I can't stand trying to get these damn things. And they take up so much room and, and all that. Okay. Oh, look at that. Cool. I didn't know there was an activated one. Let's go find something. Hit that with. <laughs> I'm totally getting off track now, but who cares, man? That looks awesome. Come on, sand sharks. Where are you, punk asses? Oh, sand shark. Well, they're not sand sharks. I forget what they're called. Some kind of shark. I don't know. Hmm, not around, huh? All right, fair enough. Man, nothing's around now, now that I'm armed. I wonder what I could do against those Leviathan. Is that what they're called, Leviathan? I'm not sure. You know, those real badass dudes that are underneath my crash site? 
We'll have to give those a shot at some point. All right, let's take a look over here. We well, wonder how it works with these. Oh, he didn't like that. Want to fart acid? I'll teach you to fart acid. See, those are the gas pod things we got to get. Oh, here we go. Check it out. I think we got some some clusters here. Hold on. Of course, my inventory is full, but what else? Yeah, can I pick them? Yes, I can. Cool. So that's probably all the creep find clusters I'll need for the uh, immediate area. Very cool, very cool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, thank you. It's good to be aboard. Oh, never started back up my timer. Oh, well. Okay, so with that, we can make... The silicon rubber. Oh, my God. That, my friends, is going to take a while. You know what? To hell with it. Let's go. Let's go look for a Leviathan. I'm, I'm kind of pissed, and I want to shoot a Leviathan. Is that what they're called anyway? I don't. I don't know. Torpedoes. All right, we need some titanium. I don't think they're called Leviathan. I don't know what they're called. I call them Leviathan because it sounds like a cool name. Doesn't it? I mean, I'm not crazy, right? That does sound like a cool name. in there I'll just dump this crap I'll organize it later all right and we're gonna need some titanium there we go let's make some torpedoes I think I got a torpedo on one of these things there we go yeah let's go look for them why not we got a few minutes left on the video I think it'd be a really cool thing to, to do and if we die yeah we die if we die, we die. Can I hold these things? Barely. Actually, I think that I think you can only hold four anyway. Got to get in the water though before we put the torpedoes in. There we go. All right, let's do this, people. Now, this is scary. We could easily get killed here. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, I don't know if jumping into my Seamoth... I, I notice whenever I, like, go through a hatch, it says my inventory is secured. So let's see if this will secure our inventory. Yep, see, inventory secured. Okay. So now we should be able to go get killed, and first comes to worst, we won't, shouldn't lose anything. Make sure we're going the right way. Because I don't think we are. Yeah, we are. Kind of. They're definitely underneath the ship, especially the back end. I love this uh this power efficiency module. It's freaking sweet. I'm not wasted on sand sharks, I'll tell you that. I know they're not called sand sharks. I don't know what they're called though. You're here, big monsters. I'm here to get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh yeah, there's cases out here and stuff. Come on, big guy, where are you? Oh, there's metal everywhere. There he is. See him? Punk ass. Punk ass mofo. Come on, bro. Come at me. Uh oh, that messed that up. 
Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work either. Oh, that worked. Come on, hit him. Yes! Burn! What's he doing? Can you not kill these guys? I'm starting to wonder. Yeah, I think I don't think you can kill these guys. Well, we put up the good fight. We put up the good fight. Alright, guys. Uh, oh, boy. Hold on. Now, we are hurting, so we should probably get away from him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let go of me, you son of a bitch! Alright. We are hurting. Let's get back to base. I was gonna cut the video, but now I'm gonna wait. Ooh. I don't know if I can kill that guy. I'm definitely going to look him up. I'm going to look him up as soon as I'm done with this video. Alright, guys. I think we are away. Yeah. He ain't following us no more. Alright, guys. So, so, we are going to call this one here tomorrow. Or next time I record, whenever the next video goes up, um, we are going to be stocked and we are going to be starting a forward operating base in the, the Grand Reef. So... Should be pretty interesting. So that's going to be it for episode 26. And I'll see you next time for episode 27. Till then, take it easy.